Well, we got back from Clash Fest this morning. Oh yeah, and we logged into Clash of Clans to discover that the Hammer Jam event is back in the game. This is huge. So today we're gonna discuss what you should focus on in order to get the most out of those 50% cost reductions on your building. What's going on boys? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today we're on the Town Hall 14 free to play series account. I guess we could say that this is like the fourth installment of this series, I don't really know. I owe you a progress update on this account in the last 30 or so days, because we've been busy, <laughs> oh my gosh, so busy. But we got back from Clash Fest and I discovered that the Hammer Jam event is back for the third time. Now what does Hammer Jam mean? That normally means that there's going to be a new town hall level in the next update, huh? And right now that means that there's 50% off all home village building and upgrade costs. Not time. So where can we get the most value on our accounts at this very moment? Well, obviously the very first option is going to be upgrading of your walls because it only requires one builder no time and you have to grind out the resources to do the upgrades because right now at town hall 14 our cost is 3.5 million but i have a bit of a problem going on right now i didn't even know hammer jam was coming back i like it when clash surprises us but i'm up in legends league again so i pushed back up because my heroes were maxed out and i wanted to use three star style armies again so we have to break away from legends and drop all the way back down to masters league that way we can rock star some sneaky goblins again and upgrade some wall pieces so give me a couple of days and we'll check back in with you three days later all right so it's eight days 13 hours left of hammer jam so hopefully we can get this video out in time for you guys to react a little bit we got one day and 15 hours left on the one gem army boost now why is that important you can save your training potions for down times when you don't have these boosts you know what i mean only a few gems you can boost your army do a little bit of farming for a couple of hours and the value when it comes to the hammer jam is obviously the cheaper prices on all of your home village buildings and we only have six builders only six builders some of you guys are working with five so if you're working with five you would do four upgrades on some of these buildings you know kind of save up the resources for half price in this case i've been trying to catch up a couple of my cannons and work on a couple of mortars that fell behind back in the town hall 13 series and then the walls. So we save one builder for the walls. Are you ready to see this? This is the base the other day, three days ago as a matter of fact, and this is our base now. <laughs> oh my gosh, boys, I'm gonna tell you right now, straight up grinding the resources while I was editing the vlog. So I worked on the vlog and I was kind of sitting here editing and also doing the farming at the same time. I understand that a lot of you guys out there more than likely do not have time to play Clash like this, but while this event is currently going on, this is where you get the most value if your walls fell behind. They're super cheap ish <laughs> a lot cheaper than normal and i wanted to take advantage of this i've been trying to average about 20 pieces of wall a day but let's take a look we had 70 pieces of level 15 wall complete the other day we're up to 203 level 15 walls that would be 133 complete in the last three days I know, I know, it's kind of my job, guys. It's kind of my job, okay? <laughs> but let me take a look at uh, where we're at when it comes to trophy range. If you're trying to do this and replicate it for yourself, I'm in Masters League number two. We can always drop down to Masters League three. And this is what our attack log looks like. Sometimes I'll take the win when the town hall is really easy to get to. And sometimes I'll just take the loss and move on. Like this guy right here, one million gold. 1 million elixir and 5400 dark elixir now there is one problem when it comes to grinding resources like this we experienced it in our 24 hour video is the dark elixir you might not be able to get rid of it okay so i got kind of lucky we've been upgrading our pets which i'll talk about later on in our progress video and I also did some upgrading in my laboratory. One of my upgrades finished, so I was able to spend off the Dark Elixir on this Hog Rider upgrade. But then again, if you look, 
We're back to 142,000 Dark Elixir again. I also have seen a couple of questions from players saying, what was I using to steal all these resources in the process? And obviously, if you're a Town Hall 11 and above, Sneaky Goblins is definitely your best option. Now, is it the most fun option to use? Not necessarily. For some of us, it can get a little dry and boring to farm like this, even for myself. I don't exactly enjoy it. You can use baby dragons to farm, but they take a little bit longer to train than the sneaky goblins. But then again, all of it is better than the alternative, which is spending money. If you don't want to grind resources like this and you just want a war instead, then just gem your stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that can get very expensive. So I'm trying to take down this town hall real fast and get the win, although it doesn't necessarily matter to get the win if you're farming. But I did want to mention that for those of you that are asking about town hall 15 content, when's the sneak peeks happening and stuff like that, considering the fact that Hammer Jam is going to last for the next eight days, we can pretty much determine based on past trends on Clash of Clans updates in conjunction with the Hammer Jam that we'll see Town Hall 15 more than likely at the end of the event. So in like eight days, okay? So yeah, that, I think that's I think that pretty much narrows us down. Let me go ahead and grab this Town Hall real fast right here. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> Invisibility spell? Yes, yes, yes. Bueller? Oh, hello there, boy. And we're going to get the rest of the gold, but that's how I've been grinding walls over and over and over <laughs> and over again. Let me know down in the comments below how many pieces of wall you've upgraded, and we will see you in the next video.